Welcome to the second video in this series. This is going to be the video where I unbox this kit and see what's inside. I'm doing the unboxing as a separate video from the background because I realize some people may be new viewers who really are only here for the kit and really don't care about my background and why I'm building it. But if you are interested, I'll put a link to the first video. I'll also have a playlist for this series. Without further ado, let's unbox this and see what's inside. So the first thing you notice about this set uh, is it's actually quite heavy. This isn't uh, like plastic kits that are, are very light. And I like how they package this. If you are going to be browsing in the store when you pull the cover off, you can get some kind of peek inside. You can see that there's some scenery, some glue, mostly ceramic tiles, which is giving it the weight. You can see it has some color instruction sheets. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, so the first thing I see is we have a very nice color instruction sheet. Probably not going to be able to fit this whole thing into the view here. I will take uh, separate pictures of it. But there's four buildings in this set, plus a little bridge. So we have a mill, and there's a water wheel on the other side of it. We have a bridge. I assume this is some kind of farmhouse here. I'm not sure what that is. Again, I'm going to guess a silo, something related to a farm. Maybe a watchtower. Doesn't look tall enough for that, though, so I'm going to go with silo. And we have a little church. And so it looks like this side here details the construction of the windmill and the silo. When you flip that over to the other side, that looks more like just construction techniques in general for these kits. And then there's a second similar set of instructions. This side here is for building the church and building what I believe is the farmhouse. And when you flip that over, finishing the farmhouse, that's just what I'm going to call it until I know otherwise, finishing the farmhouse and building the bridge. Okay, now we get into the fun stuff. This is what's actually going to build our little village here. They give you two bottles of glue. This looks like standard white glue, so I would assume if you run out uh, that you could uh, use any kind of white craft glue in its place. Uh, it seems like the primary method of constructing this is going to be gluing. We have some bags of scenery here. This is the same kind of stuff you would get for model railroading. We've got some color pigments here, I presume for dirt. And the blue would obviously be the water running under that bridge. Got a bag for the green grass here. And then this darker green bag, this is the vegetation. This would be your little trees, shrubs. And I think the last bit that we have for the scenery is this bag of, it's kind of an off-white beige gravel. Looks like that would probably be for the uh, bed along the creek. Now we get into the bags of tiles. I hope they're all sealed, and they're not, so be very careful. <laughs> Be very careful about that if you get one of these kits. This bag is open here. Um, I actually have some um, 
plastic jars downstairs that I think I'm going to use to store these. You'll see that in a later video. This would be uh, the terracotta colored tiles would be for the roofs of the buildings. This little bag here, which is also not sealed at one end, so again, be careful. This has a bunch of little arch pieces, and it looks like a lot of little unique shapes. Um, be used for keystones, for steps. I assume these are ceramic. Maybe they're wood. Nope, oh, that's ceramic. So you have like a little archway. have a bag here of flat, off-white, beige color tiles. Looks like they come in different sizes. Um, they're pretty flat. I assume a lot of that's going to be for the walkways, uh, both for the bridge surface and any little walkways through the buildings. A couple little oddball pieces. We have a piece of wood here, probably for the windmill. bunch of strips of cardboard here. I know they use cardboard as the backing um, for the buildings. That's what you're actually going to glue the tile to. The way these are perforated here, I'm not sure if you can see this, looks like these are going to fold up into squares. I have seen photos and video online that that's how they support the uh, like the higher levels of the scenery is you just make a lot of boxes. I have to be super, super careful with this big bag. Sure as heck don't want to spill this. This is going to be your main tiles for the siding on all the buildings. And yet, and that is not sealed. But they're actually pretty dusty. Um, hopefully they cut pretty easily and sand pretty easily. They feel kind of soft. They don't feel like that hard ceramic. They're actually quite nice. They, they very much have the look of stone. They don't have that um, kind of shiny look that you normally associate with ceramic tile that you might have in your kitchen or bathroom. But it looks like they come in all different sizes. There's some little square ones here, I presume, for the ends. That's probably half the weight of the kit right there is that big bag. I'm going to set that aside. I definitely do not want to spill that. Alright, so underneath we have the base plates here. These are quite nice. They're pretty thick. Not sure if you can see that thickness. It looks like the kind of backing you might have uh, on the back of your entertainment center. Something you may have, uh, furniture you may have bought from somewhere like Ikea and put together. Oh, this is actually thicker and better quality than most of that that I've seen. And there are four of these base plates. So if you want to get a sense for the size of this, tell at some point it's going to outgrow this desk. I'll have to get a little creative. Um, not so much worried about keeping the cats off the model itself while I'm working. I'm more so worried about them getting into the tiles and all the little pieces. So we'll figure out later how we're going to lay out the base. You can see here, this is what you would actually cut out and fold up to form all the walls of the building and the base. Looks like they have everything pretty clearly labeled. It's very lightly perforated, so I imagine that's going to be pretty easy to separate and work with. I mean, this is pretty much your standard weight cardboard. Seems to be a good quality. There's um, There's four sheets there. They're all taped together. I'm not going to unbundle them at this time. 
This one's an individual sheet here. That looks like um, the silo. And here we have another base. You can tell this is where you would cut off to make like the bank. Well, here would be the bank, I think, for the creek. Here's where the silo would go. And then we have another base here. Here are some pieces for the windmill and for the bridge. And from what I understand of these, because these already have the printed outlines for the tiles, gluing them on, I mean, yes, you're going to have to sand and shape some stuff, but you're going to have a guide for placing these. And then there's the last bundle of more, more base, more building. Again, a lot of these that I'm showing you, they have a couple sheets either taped or stapled together. I'm not going to undo that just yet. And last but not least, inside the bottom of the box here, we have some wood strips, various thicknesses and sizes. So that's going to be for stuff like the... Um, the water wheel and any little supports. I think the one building, farm building, has an overhang to it or something. And everything in here looks to be of good quality. This is nice, clean wood. Part of me wants to say it's balsa wood, but it feels a little more solid than that. So I, I don't, I don't think that's balsa wood. I think that's some uh, heavier grade. I've got to admit, I don't know my woods very well. Um, although, interestingly, one of the projects I had considered before selecting this one is a wooden model sailing ship. I actually do have a kit that somebody gave me many years ago. And who knows, maybe I'll be doing that one next. Um, the only reason I rejected that idea is I knew I would need to purchase a lot of tools and learn a lot of techniques. Although that said... I'm probably going to have to, uh, well, I may have to purchase some tools for this. Definitely going to have to learn a lot of new techniques. So what comes next? Um, obviously the next video you're going to see in this series is going to be me beginning the construction. Uh, it's going to be starting with the cardboard structures that everything's going to get adhered to. I'm not sure how long that's going to take to build. Um, hopefully I'm going to be able to build each one of these buildings and its base as a separate kit and then bring them all together at the end. I don't know that to be 100% true, but um, I'm assuming that's how it's going to go. And um, I'm not sure the frequency with which these videos are going to come out. I have a lot of other things in the queue that I filmed late summer, early fall. I will try to get out a video in this series at the rate of at least one every two weeks. And um, I have no idea what kind of build time I'm looking at with this. Um, I'm not going to make you watch every excruciating little piece. I'm thinking I'll probably make each video with some explanation of what I'm doing and then a time lapse of me doing it. Okay, so now that I know what's inside the box and I have the instructions, it's time for me to turn off the video camera and spend some time studying these instructions, maybe doing some more research on techniques for building these. But if you join me in the next video, we're going to dive in and get started with putting this thing together. This is certainly going to be a challenging project for me. It's a lot of parts and a lot of techniques I've never used before. It's a little intimidating, I'm not going to lie, uh, but I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty good at figuring out how things go together. I enjoy that sort of thing. And let's face it, there's not going to be a whole lot else going on this winter, so I might as well dive in. I hope you'll join me in the next video where we start to build this village. Thank you for watching.